Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Before I worked for the Battleship, I worked for Historic Ships in Baltimore as the site manager for the Coast Guard Cutter, formerly known as Taney. Today, we are in the process of moving her into dry dock at the Curtis Bay Coast Guard Yard, where she was last dry docked in 2003, 18 years ago, and last dry docked 20 years before that in 1983 as an active Coast Guard Cutter. We started our voyage all the way up here at Pier 5 in the Inner Harbor. So far, we've made it all the way down to this holding area just before we get to the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which is part of the 695 interstate. We're going to be heading down Curtis Bay to another draw bridge that we have to wait for them to raise. And then the Coast Guard Yard and the ship lift we'll be going into is down here. So started up here. We're going to end here, and we're currently somewhere in this area. This is the chart house of Coast Guard Cutter Taney, by the way, which is why we've got a chart handy. Here you can see us underway. We are currently being towed stern first. Curtis Bay ahead of me. Can you see the American flag in frame? That American flag, uh, the ship's battle flag, was flown over the Arizona Memorial. Taney is significant historically for being the last surviving warship that fought back during the attack on Pearl Harbor. If you would like to support Taney during her roughly month long dry dock, we're putting a link in the description below to uh, Historic Ships in Baltimore's page where you can support this project. If you would like to support Battleship New Jersey uh, and our YouTube channel, check out the uh, link in the description below to our GoFundMe campaign. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Remember to like, share, and subscribe because we're posting more videos throughout the uh, coming weeks.